What's the vision there that when we start to feel the hallmarks of aging, we would do this reprogramming and could feel 40 forever? Like, what's the vision? Well, I think that's what Jeff Bezos wants. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Some sort of immortality reprogramming technology. Do you think realistically what we could have is we could have some sort of technology that could extend lifespan and health span by another 50 years or maybe another 100 years of high quality of life. And I think that would still be a remarkable thing for society. But I think there, the ethical concerns around that, I guess, are the disparities between the rich and the poor. Unfortunately, these treatments, even the treatments I do right now are quite expensive. And you can imagine the epigenetic reprogramming stuff will be quite expensive too. And so it may only be available to the rich at the beginning, which creates a gap. And we're already seeing that, right? There's something called social determinants of health. Mm -hmm. uh, and so basically people who have lower socioeconomic status don't live as long and have more chronic diseases. There's, this is already a public health issue that I ultimately think the technologies we're working on can eventually solve that problem because it can democratize health for society. But there's obviously a lot of things that have to happen for that to eventually take place.